Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, we're doing something different today. Let's get started. Yes, I've reviewed a lot of tech on this channel, but today's product is pretty interesting. The Life and Wave toothbrush is a really interesting piece of tech that I didn't know I really needed better technology inside of a product that I use, like a toothbrush. But ever since using it, I have to admit, it's definitely gotten my attention for just how much better it is than past previous cheaper toothbrushes that I've had. Now, Life and did sponsor this video, and I was skeptical when I checked it out because I'm like, it's a toothbrush. But I will say it's actually won me over by a few different technologies that it's had and certain things that I realized that other toothbrushes don't do as well or just really never thought about it. So first off, this has IPX7, which means it's waterproof. That is really something that seems obviously you always want in a toothbrush, but the difference is it has a seamless gap design, which means you can actually utilize it and not have to worry about gunk and dirt or debris filling inside of it. It's really important because I've had a lot of toothbrushes just get nasty around the handle area and different parts or where the toothbrush heads connect, and it's just never really nice. So the fact that this is a better seal design is really great. But the biggest difference to me has been the teeth cleaning sensation that I feel afterward, and I have to attribute it to their 60 degree oscillation range. Now the real difference of that is that it actually goes wider than most toothbrushes, and I never really thought that would be such a big deal, but it is. It just cleans the top of the teeth where it connects to the gums better off, and I think that's always the part that I have struggled with getting just, you know, to look better over time. And while I don't have the best teeth, I definitely have noticed when using the ultra whitening toothbrush head, it has gotten a lot better over the past three weeks. And speaking of that, I also like that it comes with three brush heads. Like normally you get one, might get an extra one of the same type, but this actually gives you a variety. You have the everyday super clean version, you have the gum care version, and you have the one that I've been utilizing, which is the ultra whitening version. And I just like the fact that you get these all three in the box with one purchase, it really stands out. And speaking of standing out, I have to talk about the unboxing experience because one thing that was definitely different for me that stood out immediately was they look exactly like iPhone boxes. The entire unboxing experience down to the design by life in card in there it just really stands out and screams iOS. Apparently, as I found out when I visited CES, it's the same packaging company that packages iPhones, packages their products as well, and you can definitely tell. It's that attention to detail that really stands out and definitely makes an impact. So while aesthetically good, and again, a better cleaning, it also has certain things from vibration. So it has 66,000 vibrations. And the main thing you should know is that it's double most around this price range and even some that are more expensive. Oh, and speaking of the price, I feel like I want to get to that right away because when I first saw this product, I'm like, I am not reviewing a 200 $300 toothbrush, it's just not gonna happen. This is actually $69.99, and the most expensive model that is stainless steel is $99. So that really actually stood out to me because it looks like a really more expensive toothbrush than it is. And I think that's one thing that Life has done very well. Earlier this past year, I saw that they did a Dyson type hairdryer for much cheaper than Dyson does, but yet still the same quality. I think that's what they're trying to bring to the toothbrush area. And I am here for it because this honestly is a really, really good looking toothbrush and it definitely stands out again with those little details being fitted. And speaking of being fitted, I will say the way you connect it is something that I was unsure of at first. See, I'm used to a docking station. I feel a lot of us are used to that. This one didn't have a docking station, but it does have a magnet connected USB type C cable, which of course I am here for because it means I do not have to carry an additional charger for the wall I can just carry this cable and use it with one of my many Type-C connected chargers. But it really is a nice aesthetic when you just kind of go like this and it just has that beautiful magnet connection to it. I really like it. It just snaps into place. It really reminds me of the old Apple MagSafe type of connection. And yeah, it just really is seamless and very nice. It's also a nice quality cable too, very well braided and just higher quality. Again, something that you would pay extra for for a nicer USB cable to have. So I really do appreciate that. And I also appreciate how fast it charges. In 2.5 hours, you get 30 days of battery life. And I can say that I have not needed to charge it for the past three weeks since I have started using it. That has impressed me because again, it's something that I didn't realize that, oh yeah, I always have to have a dock for my toothbrush because I have to charge it every night 
or at least charge it every seven days, this one lasting 30 days is a big plus. So while I did initially want a dog charger, I will say that I did notice that one thing may be the reason why they didn't have it is because of the fact that on my dock chargers, I typically always got a gunk on there and from the water buildup and the connection between the toothbrush and the dock. And it just always gave a little icky kind of feeling uh, that I had to clean it every so often. I would say every month I had to clean it off just to make sure it didn't get too out of control, of course, but it's something that I don't have to worry about with this one. Now, apparently they might be working on the dock, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But as of the recording of this video, I don't see one. So I will say, the nice thing about it is having to do it every 30 days really makes it convenient. Now, of course, it is a smart toothbrush that has a lot of text, so that means it has to have a companion app. And this companion app is really nice looking, very clean aesthetic wise. Again, very Apple-esque in terms of its design, just a white background, kind of showing you the heads in a faded off look, kind of like a better version of the avatars on an Apple Vision Pro. Really nice looking in its aesthetic. I will say that the main thing you can use this app for is of course turning it on and off. You can also put it on airplane mode and obviously change your frequency. So if you wanted a stronger frequency or a stronger rotation, you can do that here. Plus I like the 30 second reminder to make sure to, okay, you're done with this area of your teeth, then switch to the next one. I do like the fact that you can also get an additional six toothbrush heads for under 20 bucks. That is really nice. I just like that ability that you can get it whenever you need it. And it's very inexpensive uh, just to be able to continue to use this product. And I like that because I was worried, is this gonna be a printer ink situation where the printer is inexpensive, but the ink is really expensive and where you get most of your money? Actually with this one, it's pretty overall well-priced, especially when comparing to a lot of other brands out there. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one. I was really pleasantly surprised. It's why I went through with the sponsorship, just because I really wanted to test it out, make sure I liked the product. And because I do, I feel like I can tell you guys, yes, I really highly recommend it. From 69.99 to 9.99 and everything in between, I think it really is just a lot of bang for your buck. And I think that's what this company is gonna be known for as the upcoming years go on with whatever appliances or accessories they tend to make. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are toothbrushes ever really something you thought about with tech? And is it something that you're interested in seeing more accessories like this, whether it be men's care or anything like that? Let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in me checking out more devices like this. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, follow me on social media at YouTube Tech Guy. And check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.